that is the shower pan, the cast iron shower pan. And this is the Kohler Mariposa tub that's going to be going in over here in that corner. I started plotting things out to move the wall in and uh, determined that I need to move it over a little bit. And if I moved it over a little bit further, I could get this monstrous 72 inch um, Kohler tub in here. Now this tub is a fiberglass tub. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move the tub into the corner. It says even online is wait for the tub to come in or, or even the shower pan to come in before you do finish dimensions. Anyways, before we get too far into this, if you like this, please click on that subscribe button and join me for additional videos of this crazy, wonderful project. I really don't know 100% of what I'm doing, but I figure like, as you can see, the wire just stapled to the wall back there and uh, some of the workmanship and some of the wood that the builder used, it's all chunked up. I don't think I can do too much worse of a job really than the builder decided to do. All right, so as you can see, it is setting in place but not really. I left the drain in place. That's so that I could keep the traps filled with water and it wouldn't stink. So in order for me to get this tub see it all the way up against the wall there, I need to remove the drain. But I need to pull it back out and cut up the drain. So you'll see that in a moment. So we got some insulation here. Pull this insulation away. So hopefully you can see that we just have a trap. You've got your overflow, the drain, the trap, and then it goes straight down into the wall through a T there. And then you also have your drain vent that goes upward. So let me go ahead and cut that off. I have this tool here. This cuts this type of pipe. This is a tool for cutting plastic piping. As you can see, it cuts it like butter. Just make sure that you don't cut through water lines and stuff. Then you'll have some fun. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this whole drain assembly out of here. So hopefully, I can just have some clear slate to work with. Better for dimensions. Better for fitting it in. Hopefully I won't have to screw with it later. So I'm cutting through glue right here too. So now I've got a little bit easier access to space. If you're the type of person that likes home repairs and unboxing videos, you're in for a treat. So supposedly this is the drain and faucet kit for that bathtub. Uh, this one says valve only. We have, what's next here? This says, uh, clear flow brass toe. That's funny. All right, let's cut this thing open and see what in the world we got inside of here. This is the drain hardware. I didn't know that I was getting brass stuff. Now mind you, I've never worked on this. I haven't really done any project like this before. I'm assuming, make sure that's in the view of the camera. This is the 
probably the top cap the overflow drain of some sort this this has definitely got to be the overflow and this has definitely got to be the floor drain overflow floor drain and it looks like they connect to this somehow this must be I don't know what this is oh okay I get this so this looks like that probably goes on to this dude here and then this cover piece try not to block the camera looks like it goes on something like that and this should be the little i ordered a toe closer for the drain there we go one that pushes and wow there you go look at that. you can see i think let's see if you can see that it says Kohler on the front there. Look at how nice and shiny that. So I would recommend any of you that are looking into um, doing this that you take the time and follow. Look at these instructions here. Okay, so I knew we could figure it out. So that's what I call teamwork. This was that little sleeve. That's there's threads in the bottom of this. That is the overflow. This is the drain. Okay, so here's the bottom of the tub. It's now laying on its side. Got the towels underneath of it. All right, so the first step in here is apply the silicone sealant to the lower part of the drain. And the second one is install the drain with plumber's putty and such. So I don't think that I want to move on to the next set of steps which is trying to cut this thing with very limited space. So I'm going to mock it up, draw my lines, and do my cuts, uh, and then install it onto the tub, because I don't think that I'm going to have very much room. I really don't want to be prying on any of this stuff. You know, once you get this, once you get this pipe on here, you know, trying to cut or pull or move or do anything I don't want to I don't want to end up breaking the seal that I put on here by cutting on it for the instructions and or yanking on this too much um, by cutting it per the instructions either So this drain here has this piece of rubber on it, but the manual says to install plumber's putty. Um, but it also says to install, to apply silicone to this face here. I can only assume that that goes like this if you're going to apply plumber's putty to this side here. I have a cool tool like this that fits down inside of the drain. This, I'm guessing it's that side. And that lines up to be able to rotate the drain into place. I've installed the gasket on this. This is going to be the overflow that goes on here. This is the faceplate for the overflow. This is where the instructions end up being not so clear. So, with a level against bottom of pipe, draw a level line on the overflow pipe as shown. 
So this kind of sort of shows that the level is on the bottom of the lower drain pipe. But it looks like the line is at the top of the lower drain pipe. So I'm gonna go with the safest bet, because we'll always start with what makes more sense, what will leave me more material. So it's just from the bottom of the pipe. So I'm gonna, because I left it so I can take it off, I'm gonna be using one of those rotatable pipe cutters. So I marked it from the bottom of that pipe there. That's, I made a line right there. Instructions say to cut two and seven eighths above that line. Two and seven eighths is the reason why I made it so that this reason why I didn't glue it all in place. Hopefully it gives me a straighter, less burred edge on the pipe. Okay. So I'm just going back and forth because it's such thin pipe material. I figure I'll do it all in one pass. So there we go, it's cutting. There we go. It's cut. Put that all the way down in there. And if you look at that, it doesn't quite line up. It's actually a little bit low. So I'm assuming because it is just drain, there's actually quite a bit of space inside of there for this to slide or move around a little bit. I'm pretty sure that they didn't intend for it to be bottomed out, but that's two and seven eighths above the bottom of the lower pipe. So now we're going to put this back on, put this on, and cut this, it just says cut it. I don't know how far they want it cut, but we'll see. After we've cut the upper drain pipe, the overflow pipe, it says assemble the components, so that means put those pieces on the bottom. Then it says mark the lower pipe. It doesn't say where to cut, where to mark it to. Do I mark it? Flush? I don't think I don't think they want me to mark it flush. With the face of this inlet, I'm pretty sure they want me to go in here a little bit. I've got these two pieces put together. So I'm gonna put this on here, right? So you see about how far away from the tub that I am, right? Let's measure that. Here we take about half an inch without putting any force on it in any direction, about half an inch. Now that's bottomed out inside of here. Okay, and we have probably roughly, what, about an inch to the bottom of that. So I want to probably be comfortably about a quarter of an inch away from that face in there. So I'm going to cut this pipe, that half an inch, which should still get me flush with that face, and then probably about another quarter of an inch to give me a little bit of gap in that face there. Half an inch will get me closer to the edge and end of the tub, plus another quarter inch to get me from bottoming out. So I'm doing about three quarters of an inch. Okay. This is plumber's putty, right? And the instructions, it says to put plumber's putty around this flange here, right? So we're gonna do that. But you can put excess on there, it's okay, it's not a problem. It's going to, you'll see, it's going to squeeze it out around the edge of the flange. All right, so let's go ahead and as they say to knead it in the kind of like this poopy looking strip. Okay, then we're going to smash it around here, right? Because this is going to create technically the seal on the inside. Wow, this stuff smells. <coughs> okay. So this is going to go right inside of the tub right here. Okay. You can see it's squishing out around the edge there. Okay, and as we tighten this down to the drain, this is going to squeeze out and we'll just peel that off. Okay. 
Okay, so as part of the instructions for installing the lower portion of the drainage, let's put some silicone around this face here. But they've also given us a gasket that goes here too. So it <laughs> doesn't seem like these instructions were really all that easy to follow. It doesn't seem like somebody tried to put this together with everything they gave us and made it easy to understand. So I'm going to put some silicone and just a bead around here. So we're going to use a little tool. See all that plumber's putty that got squeezed out of there? So we're going to put this nut on here. We're going to put this, now you see there's a bit of an angle to it. We want that to sit inside of here, right? So we're going to put this on. And we're going to slide that in there. Slide that up against there. And we're going to get this sort of kind of hand tight. Okay. We're going to slide that on. We're going to do the same thing with the tapered part facing downward so it seals inside of that uh, joint right there. Now the instructions say to put some silicone around this. Alright, so I'm going to put this inside of here. Then I'm going to install this plate inside of the tub. Okay. Okay, so we're going to tighten down these two nuts right here. Okay, so this is the cover. It's supposed to go on this thing here. There's little holes here that So we've got this trim cover on here, right? And I believe that when I was taking a closer look at it, the serial number sticker here just peels off. So it's all this is a sticker. I'll peel it off later. This is the drain cap. It says Kohler on it. Let's go ahead and that just screws right in the middle there. Okay, we'll line up Kohler so it's nice and straight. And there you go. This is a, a push in, push out drain. So that was the drain installation process on this bathtub. Um, as you can see, that wasn't nearly as much fun as, well, I was hoping it would have been, and the instructions weren't very helpful. If you like this, if you found this helpful, please subscribe, so that way you can get updates as this disaster of a project carries on. Um, hit that like button as well, really appreciate it. This tub here is the Kohler Mariposa bathtub with the integral front apron on it. It's a six foot bathtub. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching. And again, please don't forget to click that subscribe button. Thank you.